He didn't just ruin lives, he stole them. But today, cult leader Aravindan Balakrishnan, the man who took away the freedom of others, had his taken from him in court. His daughter grew up knowing nothing but the warped life locked away in the cult. It was her escape after three decades of control which brought her father's crimes to an end. She told me she survived his violent rages, but at times feared she wouldn't. There's no one knew I existed at all, not even my relatives, not even my family knew I existed. There's no record of you? Did you go to the doctor, the dentist? No. No, not go to school, not even on the list of the people living in the house. So I used to think that I would be, if I had died, or if, they had, if my father had killed me in, a, in rage, I'd just have been buried in the garden and I'd have died without even having, ever having lived, without leaving a footprint on the earth. Locked away in a small bedroom, Katie has now decided to waive her anonymity to help her reclaim her place in a world she was denied. It was terrible. So much shouting, cursing and physical violence towards me and towards others in the cult as well. Katie's mother, Sean Davis, was one of Balakrishnan's followers. She died from a mysterious fall from a window whilst with the group as Balakrishnan, once a young Marxist activist, turned his collective into a cult. Did he think he was immortal? Yes, and everybody else in the house believed it, and some still do. And outside court today, his wife and a cult member stood by him, even after the judge had silenced them in court, describing Balakrishnan as a largely housebound demagogue and dictator who beat and humiliated his followers. You were ruthless in your exploitation of them, she said. As for Katie, she's learning to live the life she was denied. Even crossing a road alone is a new skill. At first it was, I couldn't find my way around. I just get lost even walking down the road because everything is so big and just so enormous after spending all my life looking at four walls, basically. And although she's glad justice has been done, she feels compassion for her father. I forgive him for what happened. Nelson Mandela said about if you leave the prison with hatred and anger and bitterness, then you're still in prison. I felt like a caged bird with clipped wings. But now I feel that I'm learning to fly. Katie's determined to make very good use of her time and her freedom from now on. Penny Marshall, News at 10, Leeds.